Good morning, everyone. So we've done a thing. We have recently purchased a gantry crane. Um, basically, what this is going to allow us to do is um, pick up stuff like the truck bed, put it on the truck. Uh, later on down the road, we're wanting to do stuff like rooftop tents, different things on top of the vehicles. Um, so that just gives us kind of a way to pick things up. Um, if we have any projects come in, somebody's wanting us to take care of, we can pick it up with the crane, load it on the flatbed. Um, the crane actually has wheels on the bottom of it, so we can also move it around, move it where we need it. So, taking a break from the truck for right now. I'm going to try to put the crane together today, get it going. That way we can use it in the future to pick up the truck bed. So. Well, guys, we got her done. Ended up having to call in some backup, um, as in half of our staff. Uh, it's heavy. It is very, very heavy, which is good. Very good. So now we can use it for stuff like the truck bed. Um, we're going to want to put, like, later on down the road, we're kind of thinking maybe a roof rack, some stuff up top. Um, if we have to do anything with the engine, um, we've now got a crane, we can do everything with. So, that's done. It also took a lot longer than I expected, so that's kind of all I got done truck-wise. Yeah. What's up guys back out here again um, today what we're working on is we're going to be scuffing up the floor getting it ready for paint cleaning everything and then all these little rust spots that you see um, are all getting scuffed up with wherever I left the sandpaper so um, we've got a high grit sandpaper um, that we're just gonna basically be trying to get all the surface rust off um, once we get the surface rust off we will scuff up the rest of the paint so that the new paint sticks to everything and then it's getting coated with a kind of Raptor liner or Rhino liner excuse me um, it's more of like a truck bed liner but it's still pretty thick so it'll call, uh, help with some insulation um, the reason we're doing that is we don't want actual insulation on the floor in case we have to do any creek crossing or low water crossing. Water gets in under the door, goes across the floorboard. We want to be able to just open the doors, let all the water drain out, keep going. 
if we've got insulation or anything on the floors or on the uh, back of the truck that's going to hold water and it's going to hold water up against the metal and eventually rust out so we are trying to find ways to kind of insulate everything from noise and um, temperature while still trying to keep everything as waterproof as we can so that's the reason we're doing that also adds a texture so that you know if our feet are wet or muddy or anything like that we're not sliding all over the truck so. and this way uh, something that we're actually going to do or I'm going to do is once everything's out sanded down um, we can actually just take a, a pressure washer and just wash out the entire truck so if we had carpet or anything else like that couldn't do that so with this and with the new uh, Rhino liner going in, we'll be able to just pull up to the shop, open the doors up, hose it out, keep going. So, a lot going on. Um, trying to get it ready for an event coming up that hopefully y'all be able to see what's going on. So, stay tuned. Sorry about that gap in there. Apparently the camera died and I didn't notice. Um, all you missed was the last bit of that getting sanded down and then uh, got the leaf blower and blew it all out. So it's now clean. It's now done. So all that's left now is to um, get the truck bed liner paint the floor um, there's a few chips here and there that need to be um, addressed like little uh, places that got too rusted through get all that done get the wiring ran be ready to put seats in and then the interior will be just about done then we move on to the bed so progress Lots of progress. That's about it for the day. Um, as you say, we're kind of running out of daylight. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. See you tomorrow. What's up, guys? Welcome back. If you haven't missed much, I um, just got everything cleaned up, um, sanded, finished. Finished getting everything sanded, got everything cleaned. Um, going to deep clean it with some rubbing alcohol. And if you couldn't tell by the mask and the excited expressions, we're painting today. So, got the paint, got the roller, got everything set up. That's why everything's been cleaned. Um, we're gonna paint floor is getting done today so it will dry overnight uh, once the paint dries we will hit it tomorrow morning um, 
getting seats put in, get seats done, get seat belts, start rebuilding the interior. Say hi, Josh. Check this out. Bam. Fonse. Got your hat. I like it. I like it a lot. Now you're official. Official. Something like that. Official business. Official business. Official business. Monkey business. Looking good. I'm just explaining that we're painting today. Finally. Sweet. What's up? Cool. Looking good. We're gonna get it. Ah. phone's dead my watch is dead and one of the cameras is almost dead so i'd say that's a pretty successful day um it's done got everything painted up everything's ready to go we're just gonna let it dry out um leave the doors open dry it out probably call that done for the day which is exciting news because that means next up is the bed. So, um, Josh actually just left not too long ago to go get some metal, some sheet metal, tubing, all kinds of stuff, um, so that we can mock up the frame, try to get the new frame built, um, hopefully have a bed on it not too near in the future. Hopefully this weekend. Not pushing it though. But hopefully we'll be able to at least get it put on the truck so we can kind of see how everything lines up. And then start rebuilding the bed. So, a lot of progress. Um, man, that's going to look so good whenever that dries. That's going to be nice. That turned out really nice. I'm not going to lie camera doesn't do justice.